Hello, everybody. Erin and lovely Anissa. Hi. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> lovely woman. We are in a metro. See that? We have never been in one. We were told to go here for bulk shopping. And we needed a few grocery items, so we thought we'd have a peek. Honey, 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 hello! Are you happy? <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just so fresh and clean. It's so yeah. empty in here it's today. Like, it's like... Da, da, da. <laughs> a little dance, I'm hey? so excited. Let's go shopping. I like this barbecue. That's what I'm saying. Why would you want this in there? Yeah. I like it. What's the price tag? Let's see. Probably won't like it anymore when I see a price. All right, we figured it out. It's this one. So it's just been knocked down to 79,999 rubles, which for the record is about 1200 bucks Canadian. That's a lot more money than I'd spend on a barbecue. They have lots of stuff. Patio furniture. Did you find something? Is it comfy? It is very comfy. Now you just need to buy a porch. Yeah. Nice. Have a good snooze. That's yeah, really comfy. Not too keen on the yellow chairs. Mm -hmm. They're all right. They're all right. That's a big umbrella, man. Very big. Mm -hmm. Right? Some nice trenches. Mm-hmm. What about the bug screens here? Mm -hmm. I hope the bugs aren't too bad. Probably will be. Hey, trampoline. Oh, well, you got everything, man. Look at the pads of paper. You can buy a paper in a box. Very nice. This is how we like shopping. Then you get everything in bulk. No pads. Still no lines, so. Need you know? <laughs> I wonder what's up with that. Open that up, will you? Yeah, so what's up with that? Someone explain to me that why all the notepads are squares here and not lined paper. Yeah, it's just unusual to us. Ours, so for the record, in, in Canada, ours would be uh, just, just, lines. Line, just lined paper. I think well, there might be some hidden in here, maybe. Yeah. Oh, nope. no. <laughs> See the edges? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's all checkered again. Very strange. Very strange. Mm -hmm. Loads of stuff. It's always nice for organizing your office. Ooh, office chairs. I missed that too. Organization. So when you move and sell everything and put everything that you have remaining in suitcases. There's no organization left because everything you own is in a suitcase. And so it's uh, it's very different for us. <laughs> Especially when we're used to running a business, making money, and having you know just a normal life organization. Have an office, all your paperwork's in one spot. Uh, yeah, I look forward to having an office chair again and an actual place where all my paperwork is in one spot and we have some organization in our lives. <laughs> Will be nice. What are you getting, mama? Dividers. Mmm, you found some. Ones with the little tabs on them? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Excited. <laughs> there you go. Thanks to the viewers. We found some more homeschooling stuff. Uh, a lot of the books, unfortunately, everything weighs so much. We left a lot of our school books at home and, uh, and took a limited quantity with. So she just found a good source online of new stuff and we start printing off new new workbooks for the kids. Um, so that's why she needs these dividers. Lots and lots of water and drinks. This is great. This is totally like uh, bulk. Bulk stuff. Pillows. Something simple as a pillow. Forward to shopping for a pillow. I know that sounds weird, but it does. It is. I look forward to having our own bedroom, our own bed. That'd be nice. What are you looking at now? Blankets? Why are you getting carried away? We don't even have a bed. I need to put like a 
Huh? You can look, this is true. Do they have bit it, bitch? <laughs> now, all you young men out there, I highly encourage you to find a good woman like this. I don't have to take her to the movies or anything <laughs> like that to impress her. I just got to bring her to a, uh, a bulk goods store. Hey, look at the smile on that face. Keep her happy. Oh, well, they got dough, right? Yeah, but they're kind of like it. Seems to be don't like it? Off. It's funny, eh? Like the similar brands. Head and shoulders, we have that. Pantene, we have that. Dove, we have that. I get asked all the time, because I tell people I see a lot of opportunity here, and I get asked all the time, what kind of opportunities do you see? Well, every time I go out to a store, and I see Western brands on the shelf, I see opportunities. You can't tell me that Russia can't produce these products. And if they're produced here, it should be cheaper than trucking them all the way from uh, Europe or North America or wherever they're coming from. Glasses. glasses. Those look just like our IKEA glasses that we used to have. Mm -hmm. Probably made there. Oh no, it didn't say IKEA though. Mm -hmm. Standard mold. Hey, they got stainless cups here too. You see? Mm -hmm. You see? Now they're glass. Really? Yeah. They're glass. Oh yeah. They look That's like interesting. Yeah, it looks like a stainless cup. Interesting. Very much so. They got just like a, a tint to. So to prove that is true, you can see right through. But from the outside, it definitely looks like a stainless mug. Very interesting. Mm, still no big slow cookers, eh? Mold for the nutcracker. Oh yeah, that's funny. Oh, oh, um. Yep. Yep. Different size one. <laughs> Can't wait until we have a house. Oh, I need one of those. Thing's huge. Oh, that's a deep one. Yeah, that's a deep one. For the large traveler. Very good. What's that? Yeah, good size bottom one. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Everything in bulk. Did you see groceries yet? Because that's what we came for. Nice ducks for the yard. Mm. Food, food, more food. I love the packaging on this stuff, mm. eh? That's really cool packaging. Mm -hmm. All old school. Yep. Oh, I didn't even see it very low. Oh. Yeah, it's neat. House in the background. That's a lot of the family. This one there. It's really cool packaging. <coughs> Diapers in bulk again. Still no wipes in bulk though. Eh? Never found that yet, have we? Mm-mm. yet. Tea, tea, and more tea. Russians like their chai. There's your Russian lesson of the day. This says chai. It's like a CH noise, A, and this is an I, making a chai. And they love tea. They got lots of it. Now, in their defense, the coffee section's just as good. That's a lot of coffee in this one. 
I have seen stores where there's more tea than coffee, but this one's not bad. There's a lot of coffee here. We're well represented here. Oh, here you go. Here's one I used to drink. Yeah, this is what I drink now. In Georgia, actually, I found it incredibly hard to find a good cup of coffee. <laughs> it was uh, challenging. When you went to a restaurant to buy one, same thing. It was, I don't know, <clears throat> less than desirable, put it that way. So then I ended up finding Monarch instant coffee there. And I've uh, been on it ever since. And I buy that here now, too. They actually do serve decent coffee here, though. Get a, an Americano coffee, um, which is pretty good. That there is like a 25 kilo bag of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. We love buying in bulk. Yeah, not sugar though. Not sugar. Well, we don't we do much. Really, we used to buy sugar really in bulk. We have a hard time buying sugar. It's not good. Because it's garbage. Yes. Yeah, we used to do everything in honey. honey. Look forward to having new beehives. Again. This is this flour? No? I believe so. Also, bigger bags. We've been seeing mostly bags this size. This is more like, uh, more like we would buy. This is spices. Maybe. For the record, you were right. That is garlic. We second guess ourselves a lot, but she was like, I'm pretty sure this is garlic. I think that's what it says. So we Googled it and yes, it was indeed garlic. Looks kind of like it. Hey, a maple syrup. <laughs> Canada, Canada, right there, grade A maple syrup. That's hilarious, product of Canada. That's cool. So on our maple syrup video, uh, people were like, yeah, they make it here too. Well, I'm, I would say 98% sure that uh, Russia does not have sugar maples they may have some maple trees but it's not a sugar maple and so the sugar content in a sugar maple is much higher than uh and then in other trees it's twice as high as what you get from a birch tree meaning the amount of sap that you need to pull out uh it's 40 to 1 of a sugar maple so 40 liters of sap will make one liter of syrup in uh off a sugar maple for a birch as far as i remember it is 80 to 1 or maybe it's 60 to 1 maybe 61 in any case it's a lot more and so, uh, yeah, something we would be doing this time of year is making maple syrup. I'm hoping to do uh, birch syrup here, though. I would like to try it if we can find a good stand of birch trees. And I'm thinking this is probably peach butter, strawberry butter, and apple butter, which is very yummy. Smear it on your bread. Big section for wine here as well. Very large section, actually. Bakery. Well, no bakery, I guess, just baked goods. Like tortillas? Yeah, but you can open them. Like mm. they're, and they're way well, they don't have round ones like we did? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Do we need any bread? Huh, a lot of people commented too is that uh, if you did less filming, you'd have more time for studying. Yeah, of course, that makes total sense, but we're not going to study 24-7, and we do need to get out of the house once in a while, and we do need to do grocery shopping once in a while. And so when you see us filming a store, it's usually because we had to go there for something else. We don't go to the store just to film. Like right now, we're getting groceries, and at the same time, I'm running around with a camera while my lovely wife is picking out some things that we need. So it's not really wasted effort. We have to be here anyway. There's a gluten-free section, no? Here, this has got a line through it. In Georgia, that meant gluten-free. Same here. Here, yeah, it is a gluten-free section. 
That is another interesting thing. So Anissa was diagnosed with celiacs four years ago? Six. Six years ago? Anyway, so it really has to watch what we eat, and we used to have to buy a lot of gluten-free stuff. Now that we're here, she's actually eating a considerable amount of bread, and it's not affecting you as bad. Which has been something that we had already discovered in researching, is that the wheat here is different. Uh, multiple things are different. The wheat here is different. Also, the way it's it's grown, I guess, is different. There's less chemicals here. North America uses a lot of sprays, especially in certain areas where the season is too short to let it dry naturally and then combine it. They'll spray it dead. And then when it's all dried out and dead, they'll combine it. But some of that spray is still in it. And uh, how much of that are you eating then when you're eating the bread? So I don't know what it all is, but I know more people that have less issues with European wheats than they do with North American ones. And it seems to be the case here as well. Yeah, I Correct? had a little bit more issue in Georgia. You had more problems in Georgia? Yeah, like I could eat it in moderation, but I noticed like if I ate, I don't know, maybe three or four meals in a row, then I would start getting mouth sores and that would get... Right, I'd start getting like issues. Sick, and, yeah. and here, not so much? No, I not yet? Not, I, I still eat it in moderation, but I don't notice it nearly as much here, no. There you have it. There it is. Nice little label. That's cute. It's honey. Sorry, I happen to notice in the background. Move that jar. Look at the size of that pail of Nutella, honey. Oh. I like Nutella. This is the biggest Nutella joke I've ever seen. Which is about the size of my hand. It's a whole pail of it. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we were also led to believe that they don't have peanut butter in Russia. Which is not the case. Look. It's right here. Creamy and crunchy. Well, sorry. Crunchy. And creamy. There's another brand, Oreo. It's pretty sure it's made across the sea. I might not be realistic to make everything here, but why not? Everything that's imported, money's going somewhere else, it's going overseas. That's cute. Uh, that is really cool. That's cool too. Cookie cake, still cookies in? Yeah. We got stamps on the side, another car. Cool. And stamps on it. Nice as a gift. Yeah. It's really cool. And what kind of vehicles? I have no idea. I don't really know my cars. But... No. No. Anyway, we have the same problem everywhere. Uh, Canada as well. Most of our products are not made in Canada. But it would be nice to see more stuff made here. To become a truly independent nation. Uh, and then, you know making everything here creates more jobs here keeps the cash flowing around here and overall just benefits the economy everywhere so i would always encourage everybody to look for those opportunities if there's something that's being made somewhere else figure out a way to make it here cheaper uh, it doesn't even have to be cheaper even same price even if it was a little bit more if it's made right here i would think people would be kind of patriotically supporting that maybe i'm wrong but that's uh, a lot of opportunities that i see so roast. A little baby pig. Never seen that before. Uh. <laughs> oh, I love eating pig. I know. Another reason I look forward to the farm is pigs. Just a couple, not a lot, but I like pigs. They're yummy. Is that heart? I have no idea. Yeah, it looks like a heart. Big cow hearts. Oh, that's good for you. There you go. Very healthy. Mm-hmm. 
I know it seems weird, but they're very yummy. Carts over there are very, very, very yummy. Well, ours are grass-fed ones. I don't know about these. Yeah. yeah. If you don't know about, about us, we butchered pretty well all our own animals. Except for stuff that we sold, but for our own freezer, we butchered our own cows and pigs. Uh, goats we've done. We did any sheep? No. Chickens, ducks, turkeys. We butchered them ourselves, filled the freezer, so it was kind of an endless supply of meat. Delicious meat. So this we've noticed before, it's anywhere from 3.5% to 6% fat in that milk. It's whole milk, basically. Which is pretty neat. Yogurts? Well, they're not though. It looks like it. I thought these were Dane Ohm, but it's not the same brand. No, we have one with an A too, but it's obviously not. That's delicious to me. It's all in English. High protein chocolate pudding. Creamy rich, made delicious. Holds the different kinds of cheese. So this is sock. A C makes an S noise, so sock, which is actually juice. So this one's pretty self-explanatory as tomato. This one here, I actually don't know this word, but I'm assuming it's peach. But it would sound as a P E per per sick per sick. Which maybe is a peach word, I don't know. This one's yablica, which is apple. We're learning. Slowly. Ooh, I love these. They're yummy. Very yummy. We got a decent selection of stuff here too, eh?
shopping experience. Nice Nice store? Yeah. What a price though. Right. Hard to say, eh? I don't know. I don't know the conversion, so I can't really see. Right. We ended up with a cart full, quite a bit of groceries. Uh, a lot of it's meat though, so that always adds up in price. I don't know exactly. Like that's a good thing for us as farmers, we can sell our meat for a decent price here. Uh, or at least I think we can, because meat prices are, in comparison to other grocery prices, meat prices are more comparable to Canadian prices. Uh, so high, I, I would think they're high for what other things are here in Russia. That's just my opinion. So it still adds up buying a load of groceries, um, but a lot of bulk items that'll last for a little while and a lot of meat. So yeah, I don't know, I'm not really sure how to compare, but all in all, great shopping experience, nice store, lots and lots of stuff in there and lots for the future. It gives us a lot of ideas where we can find larger quantities of stuff, um, you know, once we get more settled and have room, have a pantry again to stock up on things. So hope you guys enjoyed that video as always. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Take care. We'll catch you guys all on the next one. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty